My name is Hubble and I should be here from your Science Lab and today we are doing integral number 30 tres of integrals. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. Okay, so 33 is our smallest odd, as they call it, rep digit, which is uh, basically a number with only one digit that repeats. It's the smallest odd rep digit that is not prime because 22 is not odd and 11 is prime. 33 is divisible by the amount of primes below it, which is 11. The last number that shares this property is 30, which is divisible by 10. All right, so now, oh yeah, and 33 is also kind of maybe part of, uh, part of an unsolved problem in mathematics because it's the sum of three cubes. Uh, the numbers behind the cubes are like all nine digits long, uh, so I can't remember them all, but I can tell you that two of them are negative. So basically the problem is, if a number is not congruent to four mod nine or five mod nine, then is there a number that is not congruent to 4 mod 9 or 5 mod 9 that is not expressible as the sum of 3 cubes? Here we have sine 2x. And the thing is, I think you might have seen this before, but we already know that sine of a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Now, can you tell me what 1 plus 1 is? Tell two. me. 2. Okay, so what is 2? Can you express 2 using addition? 1 plus 1. Or sine 1 plus 1. So now we can say sine 2x is just sine x plus x. That's correct. So that's sine x cos x plus cos x sine x. And using the amazing properties of uh, the commutative property, this is actually sine x cosine x. So this is just 2 sine x cos x. Wow. So that means that we can rewrite this as the integral of 2 sine x cos x over the square root of 1 plus cos squared x. Now I think we all know what needs to be done now. We need to u sub u is 1 plus cosine squared x and you have to double chain rule for this differentiation. Well not really because the derivative of x is just 1 but still look at this. So du is actually going to be, let's work this out, derivative of constant to zero, then we have cosine squared x. So first of all, cosine squared. We need to take care of that, so we power rule it, put that two in the front. So we got two cosine x, and then the derivative of cosine x itself is sine x, and then you need to take the derivative, the little guy inside here, x, but that's just one, so that doesn't count. So we get 2 cosine x sine x dx, so that means that dx is du over all this crap. And using the power of the commutative property, we can rewrite this as 2 sine x cos x. Do you see the likening now? I'm sure you do. So now, oh wait, oopsies. So now, we see that this is 2 sine x cos x over the square root of u times du over 2 sine x cos x. That's so cool. Cancel, mansel, and now we all know how to express 1 over root u, right? That's u to the minus 1 half. And I'm sure we've done this integral many times before. It's just 2 root u, or 2u to the 1 half, if you want to be fancy about it, or u to the 1 half over 1 half, if you want to be fancy about it, or u to the minus 1 half plus 1 over minus 1 half plus 1, if you want to be fancy about it. So, sorry for all the blabbering, but this is just 2 root u, what's u? 1 plus cosine squared x. 
plus C. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind.